I'm wearing overalls today. She's a little bit country. <laughs> Since I've come here to Vancouver, I've been, you know, settling in. And of course, if you've seen in my vlogs and on Instagram and stuff, I've been exploring Vancouver a lot, doing outdoor activities, summer activities, hanging out with friends. So it's been very fun, hot girl summer, if you will. I've been feeling a little bit all over the place in terms of work. And because of that, I've dedicated this week as like my productive catch up week. I just really want to get my head organized and finally complete all the things that have been piling up on my to-do list. It's not just work stuff. There's a lot of things that I've just been putting off. You know, when those like small tasks pile up and it, it ends up being like this big task in general. Today I think is going to be a big work day. I have a lot of editing to do, um, some design stuff. I think I might also draw a couple designs for the shop doodle planner. I've been slowly making my, making my way through that. And um, I also have a few like chores and errands and stuff to do. Like I have to do laundry and all of that, which is not fun, but I will do that. Alright, so recently before I jump into any work day, I've been starting my day with Morning Brew. If you don't know what Morning Brew is, it's a free daily newsletter that gets you up to speed on business news in just five minutes. I used to waste a lot of time aimlessly browsing social media or watching videos in the morning, and I never used to look into the news because traditionally it's dry and boring, but Morning Brew makes it witty, relevant, and informative, and I find it a nice way to get my mind on a quick productive start while staying informed. There's always interesting stories on there. Recently, I read about how some down downtown districts in large cities might end up turning into ghost towns post COVID as companies get used to working remotely and want to cut office space, which I thought was interesting. So if you guys are interested in business, finance, or tech, and you want to try subscribing to Morning Brew, there's no reason not to because it's completely free and it takes less than 15 seconds to subscribe. So you can click the link in my description box down below to start with Morning Brew today. This is my work area while I'm here in Vancouver. You guys always ask me how I make the doodle planner and you wanna see more behind the scenes. I literally draw it on top of this. I brought this little thing from Toronto. It's actually like a drawing table and it actually, it, it can light up like this whole uh, screen lights up for when you want more light or when you want to see through something. So underneath I printed out the guidelines of the printing restrictions for the doodle planner. So like I have the size here and basically I put it underneath this piece of paper and I can light up this whole light and then when it lights up I can see the bleed lines and the guidelines underneath it and I can draw the doodle planner designs right on top. I hand draw everything and then of course it gets digitized and then turned into the planner. So that's what I have been working on here. I literally had to bring this all the way from Toronto. This is like an essential thing for me and I like that it gives me like a very nice smooth workspace. Every so often I have to force myself to go outside. It's really hot outside. <laughs> Vancouver is in the middle of a heat wave, so it's been very hot. Let me set you guys down. Sorry if it's a little noisy. I've been doing a lot more meditation recently in my daily life. Just like quick, like five minute sessions, not nothing too long or intense. Especially if I'm doing a lot of work, I find that I need a little bit of break in between to get myself to refocus. I'll either do a guided meditation that's literally meant for refocusing. You, you can find a lot of guided meditations um, suited for different things. Or I'll just take a few minutes to go outside and 
take a few deep breaths <laughs> before I get back in there and start working again. So. The good thing about doing guided meditation breaths is that it's very similar to the breath exercises that I have to do for vocal classes. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but I've been taking vocal lessons for fun. I'm not like preparing for a performance or anything or planning on releasing music. I just love singing and music in general, so I thought I would start taking vocal lessons because I had never learned properly before. I mean, who knows, maybe I will post a video of me singing. I've posted like short covers and stuff, but not like an official cover. But yeah, maybe in the future. No promises though. The vocal lessons have been really fun. It's been a nice new challenge for me. Something that I can do just for myself. It's literally just for my own enjoyment as a hobby. And I don't have the pressure of it becoming anything. That was a tangent. Basically. My vocal teacher has me do like breath exercises and I feel like they're very similar to meditation. These ones look they're like spotted on the inside. Whoa. Botanical lesson with Leo. <laughs> Me being like, it's spotted on the inside. <laughs> it's literally a Pokemon. <laughs> We're just in a random park. <laughs> in a school. Ma'am. <laughs> Hi guys, let's chat for a little bit. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys one-on-one -on -one in a little bit. I've been so busy with settling into Vancouver and the whole new city thing, and then also just work and living my life and all of that. And I wanted to just talk about how I've been doing, what's up. A lot of you guys have been asking me on social media like how things are and whether I'm doing okay, settling in and all of that. So I just wanted to talk a little bit. So yes, it's been a few weeks since I've been here in Vancouver. Things have been really, really good. I can't explain to you guys the amount of serotonin, <laughs> is that the right word? Endorphins that I've felt like just being in this new city and also just like the weather has been so nice. Being able to like even just hang out with Jen and work together. Um, even like being able to go and see all of this new scenery and like work in a new environment has been so, so nice. I feel like I didn't realize how bad things were for me in Toronto until I got here and you know, realizing like, oh, this is what it's like to like feel things, <laughs> uh, just feel excited by life. And I don't know, it's just like a very different feeling for me. I don't know whether it's because of the pandemic and lockdown and all of that, that's probably a really big portion of it. But honestly, I was feeling a little bit like this, like even before the pandemic as well. When you've been living in the same place for a really long time, you start to kind of get numb to things and I don't know, you just don't feel as inspired, which for me, obviously I do a lot of creative based things. So I, that was affecting like what I create and my work and my mindset about stuff. So I've just been really, really happy and inspired and motivated. I filmed like four videos while I'm here and I've been like working on the doodle planner. I am 
just so grateful to have even have had the opportunity to come here and it's really opened my eyes to a lot of things. Work-life balance, how I view my job, how I view myself, how I view my environment. I'm not gonna say for sure like whether I'm going to be living here permanently yet because obviously there's a lot of things that I still need to figure out. Initially, I was going to extend my stay here in Vancouver, but actually in Ontario, I, I think I'm eligible for uh, my second dose of my vaccine. So I got an email saying that like you can book your appointments and the, the one that is soonest after my flight back is like a couple days after. So I kind of just want to go back home, get everything settled there, get my second dose, take a while to like figure out what I want and maybe I'll come back, which is kind of sad because I did want to stay here for longer. At least I know now like Vancouver is really a place that I can see myself in and it's just, it's so nice guys. Like you have all of the terrains that you could ever want. You have like water, you have mountains, you have parks, you have nature, um, but then you also have like city vibes, which is fun as well. I'm so used to the, concrete jungle of Toronto. So thank you for all of your well wishes and concerns and support. I've been seeing a lot of you guys who have been like sharing your stories about how you've been like in a new city and all of that. And I, I feel very like we're all on this journey together. It's kind of weird. I feel like you guys have seen a lot of my life over the past eight years that I've been on YouTube but also you've only seen a little bit of my life. I got a little bit existential recently but I was just like you know as I grow up and make my way through this trek journey of life and share it with you guys, I think it's kind of cool that you are there along for all of the major kind of landmarks of my life. This feels like one of those moments and the fact that you guys are there for it and have seen like my growth as a person and a human is kind of cool. So um, yeah, thank you for, for being there. I don't know where I'm gonna go from here. I'm kind of like taking things one step at a time for now, but, but yeah, that's kind of my, my long life update rant. I'm gonna go get food now.